This project, which is supposed to be beyond cutting edge, is to try to stimulate the nerves in the abdomen to mimic what happens when you have a meal so that we can control your appetite. This is a grant uh, which has been awarded for us to develop a little microchip that sticks just within the gut that can tell the brain if the gut is full or empty using simple microchip technology. So I'm a medic and I'll be leading on the nerve side, the stimulation of the gut, etc., while Chris, an electrical engineer, will be handling the electrical impulses, the recording, the production of the micro-stimulator, which is the final product. My background is electrical engineering, but I've combined that with medicine and life sciences to create this very intelligent equivalent, if you like, to a drug, but it's actually a medical device. Our project is actually only at the animal stage, so we'll be trying to treat uh, ferrets and mini pigs. But if we can get it to work in those, then we will roll it out in humans. Well, we're very excited because a similar technology today has been used for epilepsy. A small device that sits on the nervous system and stimulates the brain to tell an epileptic just before they're going to get a seizure, it will stimulate the right part of the brain. So the background and the fundamental technology exists. We're adding intelligence to it. So I would say within three to four years, we should be on patience with this technology. The concept is that once we've got a recording of what normally happens when you eat a meal, we'll be able to reproduce that by a very low energy local implant, which has multiple electrodes going into the vagus nerve and therefore can reproduce pretty accurately what it's like to eat a meal but without actually having eaten it. There isn't today a treatment for obesity. There are all these primitive techniques of uh, uh, cutting the gut and uh, etc etc biatric surgery but nothing exists. No drugs, nothing. So what this would mean is it would help solve one of the world's biggest and greatest epidemic problems. During this interview, five people dying in the European Union from the uh, complications of their obesity, preventing obesity is really important.